There it is. Looks like you're taking it back then. Yep, yep, yep. Hey guys, welcome back to the Road to Pro. So I'm here on these like makeshift janky courts and that's just kind of what the pickleball scene looks like in Atlanta today. I've got my friend Matthew Cross coming in just a bit and we're going to be doing some drills today. I've got Club Wars in the morning, which is like this team style pickleball tournament, kind of similar to Major League Pickleball, which I've been watching all day today. While I'm waiting on Matthew, I'm gonna get some stretches done here. I'm a big fan of prehab instead of rehab. So walk through some stretches and get started. So I'm waiting on Matt to get here with the net, but I'll show you uh, this game I like to play. I've got a basketball goal right here, and I'm just gonna basically play catch with myself off this basketball goal, so see how it goes. So Matt and I started to casually warm up. We were hitting some dinks back and forth, getting into some hands battles, and then he pulled out this super odd looking dink right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. Is that the Yates? <laughs> Whoa, what was that? He explained to me that this is something that he saw Kyle Yates do whenever he was refereeing one of Kyle's matches. And you come and do top spin sort of over. And it's the opposite direction of what you're showing. So it looks like that. It looks like that. Just a little. Wow, okay. Sometimes you'll take it in the air. So, just the motion here, scooping, or no, not the mic. Scooping, oh, how are you rolling your, okay, so you're going here, here to rolling over. Knuckles, 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 palm. Get back to contact. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yes. So it's like you kind of, yes. So today I'm teaching Shay about some deception. So I'm going to give Kyle Yates credit for this. This is a traditional Kyle, I call this a Kyle. And uh, it, it might be a dink. And what he'll do Ooh. is fake oh, by coming, making the contact point here with a little side spin, top spin. It was a traditional backhand. Now it becomes a side spin, top spin, forehand. And you can direct it any number of ways. All right, let's see it with the backhand in there now too. Okay, so now with the backhand, it looks like that. Oh, that's great. So you were gonna hit a backhand, but Dude, I think you bring it around. I think what really sells it for me is the yeah. legs. If you like get your body, like you're about to go that direction, right? and then come across, right. so, so it looks like. Sweet, and I think the thing that's really important is like, you're most likely going to get a pop-up from this more than anything. Exactly. And it's the next shot. You got to be ready for that next, next shot. Next shot, you'll put away. So like, even when we're drilling this, you kind of want to... Be here, flick, and then be ready for the next be one. Be ready for the... And it's probably the when we come back right yeah. here, right? The, the miss hit. That's good. You have to take it pretty close in. Yep. There it is. Just a little bit off-center. It's okay. There it is. Looks like you're taking it back in. Yep, 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 yep. See if you can direct it inside out. Then. Yep, 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 yep. I think that's, yeah. You can take it in the air and do the same thing. Take it in the air. It looks wicked. Take it in the air. And, and with the forehand now, fake? Now you're setting up with the forehand. There it is. You want to hold it and then flick. That's great. Okay. All right, let's hit some of these. All right. These look fun. Oh, all right, okay. It's okay. You might want to just practice that contact point. You got it. That was perfect. If you if you want to break it down and just practice the contact point where you're going to take it first and then put in the flourish before. Okay. I like that already. Yeah, 
most people have trouble with this one. Because this is already a tough spot to get attacked from. When you're adding this deception, you have to be kind of, you have to be thinking ahead for this opportunity on the top spin. Yeah. Nice. Hold it. Yes. That we gotta get that. That one needed a little bit. I want to give a, a shout out to awesome coach Ryan Reeder, who runs the program at East Naples Community Park, where the you know U.S. Open is, because he's so creative, and he and I worked on this shot, um, and kind of came up with the reverse Kyle and stuff like that. So Ryan, this is for you. Ryan, you're the freaking man. We love you, Ryan. <laughs> After we worked on my deception, we started to do some third and fourth shot drills. This drill is pretty basic. We have one person working on their third shots. That person stays at the baseline and hits balls straight on the middle and at the two angles left and right. And then the other person sits at the kitchen line and hitting fourth shots. And they really get moved around. This is more of a singles and mobility drill, but it does have a lot of value in doubles as well. Oh, this is my absolute favorite drill. Yeah, I love this drill. Like, so good. So yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like I feel like if you get really confident with this, yeah. it doesn't really matter how good your third shots are. You can always reset from transition. Same setup. Um, we'll play the game to seven, and how it works is the person that starts in transition has to get three balls back. One, two, three, uh -huh. and then you come up and play a point. Both? Yeah. Both yeah, yeah. Already so up, you you're already up. Yeah, so the first game, I'll be back the entire time. Okay. So we always start with you in the transition zone. Okay. I gotta get three back and I can come up play. Okay. See how it goes. 